Hey everybody, I'm Rod, Pro Motor Sports. I'm gonna give you a little bit about what's going on with the truck, where it started, how I got it, what we're gonna do with it in the future. I got this thing off of Craigslist about four years ago. It was one of those things that I thought maybe I'd restore it. It was in really good shape, very little rust, but I knew that I had some of the bigger parts, the military axles, a couple motor parts, stuff like that that I just wanted to use up. So this is kind of where it is as of today. So what we've got is a 76 GMC square body, two and a half ton Rockwells under it. It's got chromoly axles and spools, both ends. On the driver's side, we'll show you a picture of, I put a manual hub on it so I could disengage the front so it doesn't tear everything up when you're driving across lawns and stuff like that. If you wanna look under here, got some basic shocks. These actually came off a monster truck locally here. Uh, so they've got a little bit of history. It seems to work really good with this. We're still kind of working in some of the details on them, but we're getting close. Got some big bump stops here. Uh, sway bar, all your basic stuff. We weren't really sure at first how this was going to end up, but once we got rolling, we kind of just went from there. So up here, you kind of get a bird's eye view of everything. We've got about a 25 gallon fuel cell. Inside it is a Holley 450 with a wet sock, a return style fuel system. This is kind of a self-contained cage for the rear shocks. Um, you'll see a lot of the gusseting in it because I didn't really want to do the roll bar going into the cab just yet. Up front here, we've got a water tank that's going to be for the windshield washers, hydraulic pump for the rear steer. Inside the toolbox, we've got everything for radiator, transmission coolers, the rear steer, batteries, all of my relays, overflow tank, everything I kind of wanted to keep out of the visual sight for everything. And back here, you can see the rear steer, same basic kit as what's on front. So on the driver's side here, you can see the self-centering proximity switches. Uh, I got those from Jurassic. They do the monster trucks up in Canada. Super nice guys to deal with. The bottom part of the axles, you can see the kingpin supports that we put on it. I want to build it so that it holds up. The Rockwells are known for splitting out the, the knuckles on it. As far as the motor, it's really nothing special. It is a 454, 60 over, real mild build as far as uh, today's standards are. It's got a comp cam in it, Fitec fuel injection. It's a 10 and a half to one motor, but it was something I wanted to use to get the truck up and going and kind of figured out.